What is up, everybody? JT Dangerously here once again, and I am here to do my official 2022-2023 college football bowl predictions. Now, with the college football regular season in the books, we are now into my favorite part of the college football season and where it really matters the most, the bowl season. And the road to the college football playoff national championship game on January the 9th at SoFi Stadium starts now. So I am absolutely extremely excited to do my college football bowl predictions for you guys this year. This could be a long video. We'll be predicting all 43 bowl games from the Bahamas Bowl all the way up to the college football playoff national championship. So sit back and relax and I hope you guys do enjoy. Now record last year in bowl predictions on the channel we did pretty damn good. We went 21 and 15 and our overall college football bowl record on the channel is 84, 58 and 1. So we're coming in extremely hot and I'm looking to keep it that way. So hoping this video we will continue the winning ways. We're on a four year winning streak. Hoping this video we make it five years in a row. Hopefully. Now, this is the first video of a combined two video day on the channel today, guys. So, hope you guys will be able to watch this video and all the fantastic videos we got on deck on the channel on this big month of December this year. And as always, show your support on the channel as always, guys, by watching these videos. Super kicking those like buttons, hitting that notification bell, and commenting your picks, your opinions, and representing your college football teams in the comment sections down below. Now, if this is your first time watching my channel today, guys, as a first time viewer, and this is your first video, boy, you picked the glue. And if you're a huge fan of college football like myself, and you're ready for the 2022-2023 college football bowl season. Welcome to the Dangerous Alliance. I'm JT Dangerously. Welcome to the club because this club is just, just two. Whoop, whoop, Thank you guys so very much. Now, other than that, let's get right into this enormous college football bowl prediction. Let's start off with the bowls that will happen this Friday, kicking it off with this year's Bahamas Bowl between the UAB Blazers facing the Miami of Ohio Red Hawks. Now, both teams are coming in at 6-6, six and six, and both teams are looking to get a big bowl victory here. So, coming from me in this year's Bahamas Bowl on Friday night, I am going to go with the UAB Blazers to get it done here and defeat the Miami of Ohio Red Hawks in a close shootout. And now the next bowl matchup on Friday night. It is the Cure Bowl between the back-to-back -back Conference USA champions, the Texas San Antonio Roadrunners, facing the 2022 Sun Belt champions, the Troy Trojans. Now, both teams are coming off fantastic regular seasons, finishing at 11-2. Both teams winning their conference championships, and both teams are looking to, uh, to wrap up the year with a big bowl victory here. So coming from me in this year's Cure Bowl on Friday night... I am going to go with the back-to-back -back Conference USA champions, the Texas San Antonio Roadrunners, to cap this amazing year off with a victory here and defeat the Troy Trojans in a close shootout. Meet me. And now the next bowl matchups, which will happen on Saturday, starting off with this year's Fenway Bowl being played at Fenway Park, home of my Boston Red Sox, between the Louisville Cardinals facing the Cincinnati Bearcats. Now, this is the 54th meeting between Louisville and Cincinnati. Cincinnati leads the all-time series 30-22-1. Now, the Cardinals have won the last two meetings over the Bearcats back in 2012 and 2013, and the Bearcats are looking to finally defeat the Cardinals for the first time since 2011. Now, both teams are coming out very good years. Louisville's coming in at 7-5, and five, and Cincinnati's coming in at 9-3. and three. So, coming from me in this year's Fenway Bowl on Saturday at Fenway Park in Boston. This one should be good, but coming from me, I am going to go with the Cincinnati Bearcats to get it done here and defeat the Louisville Cardinals in a close shootout. And now the next bowl matchup on Saturday. It is a football championship subdivision bowl game known as the Celebration Bowl between the MEAC champions, the North Carolina Central Eagles, facing the SWAC champions, the undefeated Jackson State Tigers. Now, both teams are coming off fantastic years. North Carolina Central is coming in at 9-2, and two, and Jackson State's coming in undefeated, perfect at 12-0. and 0. So coming from me in this Celebration Bowl on Saturday between these two football championship subdivision squads... I am going to go with the SWAC champions, the undefeated Jackson State Tigers, to finish the year undefeated at 13-0 and defeat the North Carolina Central Eagles. And now the next bowl matchup on Saturday. It is the New Mexico Bowl between the SMU Mustangs facing the BYU Cougars. Now, this is only the fourth meeting between SMU and BYU. The Cougars have won the last three meetings over the Mustangs, dating all the way back to 1980. So the Cougars have owned this rivalry for 42 long years. Now, both teams are coming off very good season. They finished both at 7-5, and five, and both teams are looking to cap off the year with a victory here in the New Mexico Bowl. So coming from me in this year's New Mexico Bowl... 
This one should be good, but coming from me, I'm going to go with Tanner Mordecai and the SMU Mustangs to get it done here and defeat the BYU Cougars in a close shootout. And now the next bowl matchup. It is the Jimmy Kimmel LA Bowl being played at SoFi Stadium between the 2022 Mountain West Conference champions, My City's Fresno State Bulldogs, facing the Washington State Cougars. Now this is the fifth meeting between Fresno State and Washington State. Washington State leads the series 3-1. to one. Now the Cougars have won the last two meetings over the Bulldogs back in 1992 and 1994 and the Bulldogs are looking to finally defeat the Cougars for the first time since 1991 over 31 long years ago. Now both teams are coming off fantastic years. Fresno State's coming off a improbable Mountain West Conference Championship win after starting the year 1-4. and four. They went on to win the Mountain West Conference title over my Broncos. They're coming in at 9-4 and four, and Washington State's coming in at 7-5. and five. So coming from me and this year Jimmy Kimmel's LA Bowl and SoFi Stadium on Saturday. I am going to go with Jake Hayner, Jet Tedford, and my city's Fresno State Bulldogs to get it done here and defeat the Washington State Cougars. Go dogs! And now the next bowl matchup. It is the Lending Tree Bowl between the Rice Owls facing the Southern Miss Golden Eagles. Now this is the 13th meeting between Rice and Southern Mississippi. The series is tied 6-6. Six to six. Now the Owls have won the last two meetings over the Golden Eagles back in 2020 and last year. And the Golden Eagles are looking to finally defeat the Owls for the first time since 2019. Now both teams are coming out very rough seasons. Rice is coming in at 5-7 and seven, and Southern Miss is coming in at 6-6. Six and six. So coming from me in this Lent this year's Lending Tree Bowl. I am going to go with the Southern Miss Golden Eagles to get it done here and defeat the Rice Owls. And now the next bowl matchup. It is this year's Las Vegas Bowl between the Florida Gators facing the Oregon State Beavers. Now Florida's coming in at 6-6 six and six, and Anthony Richardson and the Gators are looking to cap off the year with a victory here. There is the idea of the Oregon State Beavers coming off a fantastic 9-3 and three season. Oregon State was the team that cost Oregon a spot in the Pac-12 championship game this year. And this Beavers squad is looking to cap off this amazing year with a victory here in the Las Vegas Bowl. So coming from me in this year's Las Vegas Bowl on Saturday... I am going to go with the Oregon State Beavers to cap this amazing year off with a victory here and defeat the Florida Gators in a close offensive shootout. And now the next bowl matchup. It is the Frisco Bowl between the Mean Green of North Texas facing my Boise State Broncos. Now this is the seventh meeting between North Texas and Boise State. The series is tied 3-3. Three to three. Now my Broncos won the last meeting over the Mean Green all the way back in the year 2000 over 22 years ago. And the Mean Green are looking to defeat my Broncos for the first time since the start of the new millennium 1999. Now both teams are coming off fantastic years. North Texas is coming in at 7-6 and six, and my Broncos are coming off a fantastic 9-4 and four season. So coming from me in this year's Frisco Bowl on Saturday... I am going to go with Taylor Green, George Halani, and my Boise State Broncos to cap this fantastic year off with a bowl victory and defeat the mean Green of North Texas in a shootout. And our next bowl matchup, it is the Myrtle Beach Bowl between the Yukon Huskies facing the Marshall Thundering Herd. Now, this is only the second meeting between Yukon and Marshall. The Thundering Herd won the last meeting over the Huskies all the way back in the 2015 St. Petersburg Bowl. So this is the much-anticipated rematch. Now, Yukon's coming in at 6-6, six and six, and Marshall's coming in at 8-4. and four. So coming from me in this year's Myrtle Beach Bowl... I am going to go with the Thundering Herd of Marshall to get it done and defeat the Yukon Huskies. We are Marshall. And now the next bowl matchup. It is this year's famous Idaho Potatoes Bowl between the Eastern Michigan Eagles facing the San Jose State Spartans. Now this is only the second meeting between Eastern Michigan and San Jose State. The Eagles won the last meeting over the Spartans all the way back in the 1987 California Bowl. So the Eagles have owned this rivalry for 35 years. Now both teams are coming off fantastic years. Eastern Michigan's coming in at 8-4 and four, and San Jose State's coming in at 7-4. and four. So coming from me in this year's famous Idaho Potatoes Bowl... I am going to go with the San Jose State Spartans to pull it off here and defeat the Eastern Michigan Eagles in a very close one. 
And now the next bowl matchup. It is this year's Boca Raton Bowl between the 2022 MAC champions, the Toledo Rockets, facing the Liberty Flames. Now this is the fourth meeting between Toledo and Liberty. The Rockets have won the last three meetings over the Flames, dating all the way back to 1994. So the Rockets have owned this rivalry for 28 years. Now both teams are coming out fantastic regular seasons. Toledo is coming in at 8-5, and five, winning the MAC championship over Ohio last week. And Liberty is coming in at 8-4. and four. So coming from me in this year's Boca Raton Bowl. I am going to go with the 2022 MAC champions, the Toledo Rockets, to get it done and defeat the Liberty Flames in a close shootout. And now the next bowl matchup. It is this year's New Orleans Bowl between the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers facing the South Alabama Jaguars. Now this is only the second meeting between Western Kentucky and South Alabama. The Jaguars won the last meeting over the Hilltoppers all the way back in 2013. So the Jaguars have owned this rivalry for nine years. Now both teams are coming off fantastic regular seasons. Western Kentucky's coming in at 9-5 and five, and South Alabama's coming in at a very good 10-2. and two. So coming from me in this year's New Orleans Bowl... I am going to go with the South Alabama Jaguars to get it done here and defeat the Western Kentucky Hilltoppers. And now the next bowl matchup. It is this year's Armed Forces Bowl between the Baylor Bears facing the Air Force Academy Falcons. Now this is the fourth meeting between Baylor and the Air Force Academy. The Bears have won the last three meetings over the Falcons dating all the way back, folks, to 1961. So the Bears have owned this rivalry for 61 long years. Now both teams are coming out very solid seasons. Baylor's coming in at 6-6 six and six, and the Air Force Academy's coming in at 9-3. and three. So coming from me in this year's Armed Forces Bowl... I am going to go with the Air Force Academy Falcons to get it done here and defeat the Baylor Bears. And now the next bowl matchup. It is this year's Independence Bowl between the Louisiana Raging Cajuns facing the Houston Cougars. Now this is the 10th meeting between Louisiana and Houston. Houston leads the all-time series 6-3. to three. Now the Raging Cajuns won the last meeting over the Cougars all the way back in 2006. And the Cougars are looking to finally defeat the Raging Cajuns for the first time since 2003. Now Louisiana is coming in at 6-6 six and six, and Houston's coming in at 7-5. and five. So coming from me in this year's Independence Bowl... I am going to go with Clayton Toon and the Houston Cougars to get it done here and defeat the Louisiana Ragin' Cajuns in a shootout. And now the next bowl matchup. It is this year's Gasparilla Bowl between the Missouri Tigers facing the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Now Missouri is coming in at 6-6 six and, six and Wake Forest is coming in at 7-5. and five. So coming from me in this year's Gasparilla Bowl... I am going to go with Sam Hardman and the Wake Forest Demon Deacons to get it done here and defeat the Missouri Tigers in a shootout. And now next matchup. It is this year's Hawaii Bowl between the Middle Tennessee Blue Raiders facing the San Diego State Aztecs. Now both teams are coming in at 7-5 and five and both teams are looking to get a big victory here in Honolulu. So coming from me in this year's Hawaii Bowl... I am going to go with the San Diego State Aztecs to get it done and defeat the Middle Tennessee Blue Raiders. And now the next matchup. It is this year's Quick Lanes Bowl between the New Mexico State Aggies facing the Bowling Green Falcons. Now both teams are coming in at 6-6 six and six, and both teams are looking to get a big bowl victory here. So coming from me in this year's Quick Lanes Bowl, I am going to go with the Bowling Green Falcons to get it done and defeat the New Mexico State Aggies. And now the next matchup, it is this year's Camellia Bowl between the Buffalo Bulls facing the Georgia Southern Eagles. Now both teams are also coming in at 6-6, six and six, and both teams are looking to cap off the year with a big bowl victory here. So coming from me in this year's Camellia Bowl, I am going to go with the Buffalo Bulls to get it done and defeat the Georgia Southern Eagles. And now next matchup, it is this year's First Responders Bowl between the Memphis Tigers facing the Utah State Aggies. Now this is only the 8th meeting between Memphis and Utah State. Memphis leads the all-time series, folks, 4-3. to three. Now the Tigers have won the last two meetings over the Aggies back in 1972 and their last meeting all the way back in 1977, 45 years ago. And the Aggies are looking to finally defeat the Tigers for the first time, folks, since 1971, nearly 51 years ago. Now both teams are also coming in at 6-6 six and six, and both teams are looking to cap off the year with a big bowl victory here. So coming from me and this year's first, uh, first Responders Bowl... I am going to go with the Memphis Tigers to get it done and defeat the Utah State Aggies in a close offensive shootout. 
And now next matchup. It is this year's Birmingham Bowl between the East Carolina Pirates facing the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers. Now East Carolina is coming in at 7-5 and five, and Coastal Carolina is coming off a 9-3 and three season. So coming from me in this year's Birmingham Bowl, I am going to go with Grayson McCall and the Coastal Carolina Chanticleers to get it done here and defeat the East Carolina Pirates. And now the next matchup. It is this year's guaranteed rate bowl between the Wisconsin Badgers facing the Oklahoma State Cowboys. Now Wisconsin's coming in at 6-6, six and six, and this will be Graham Mertz's last game as the quarterback for the Wisconsin Badgers because he is transferring. And Oklahoma State's coming in at 7-5. and five. So coming from me in this year's guaranteed rate bowl, I am going to go with Spencer Sanders, Mike Gundy, and even though we hate their guts as, an, as, an, as I am an Oklahoma Sooners fan, I am going to go with the Oklahoma State Cowboys to get it done here and defeat the Wisconsin Badgers in a shootout. And now next matchup. It is this year's Military Bowl between the Duke Blue Devils facing the UCF Knights. Now both teams are coming off fantastic regular seasons. Duke's coming in at 8-4 and four, and UCF is coming in at 9-4. and four. So coming from me in this year's Military Bowl... I'm going to go with my good friend Scott Weeks in sports and his UCF Knights to get it done here and defeat the Duke Blue Devils in a close offensive shootout. And our next matchup, it is this year's Liberty Bowl between the Arkansas Razorbacks facing the Kansas Jayhawks. Now, this is only the third meeting between Arkansas and Kansas. The Jayhawks have won the last two meetings over the Hogs, dating all the way back, folks, to 1905. So the Hogs have owned this rivalry for 117 years. Now both teams are coming in at 6-6, six and six, and both teams are looking to cap off a year with a big bowl victory. So coming from me in this year's Liberty Bowl, this one's going to be good. you got K.J. Jefferson for Arkansas versus Jalen Daniels for Kansas. This one's going to be a good one. But coming from me, I am going to go with K.J. Jefferson and the Arkansas Razorbacks to get it done here and defeat the Kansas Jayhawks in a close offensive shootout. Sweet! And our next matchup, it is this year's Holiday Bowl between the North Carolina Tar Heels facing the Oregon Ducks. Now, both teams are coming off fantastic regular seasons. North Carolina's coming in at 9-4, and four, and Oregon's coming in at 9-3. and three. So, coming from me in this year's Holiday Bowl, this one's going to be good. You got Drake May for North Carolina versus Bo Nix for Oregon. This one's going to be a good Holiday Bowl game this year, in my opinion. But coming from me... I'm going to go with Bo Nix because Bo knows and the Oregon Ducks to get it done here and defeat the North Carolina Tar Heels in a close offensive shootout. Quack, quack. And our next matchup, it is this year's Texas Bowl between the Texas Tech Red Raiders facing the Old Miss Rebels. Now, this is the seventh meeting between Texas Tech and Old Miss. Old Miss leads the series 4-2. to two. Now, the Rebels have won the last two meetings over the Red Raiders back in the 2009 Cotton Bowl and their last meeting all the way back in 2018. And the Red Raiders are looking to finally defeat the Rebels for the first time since 2003. Now, Texas Tech is coming in at 7-5 and five, and Old Miss is coming in at 8-4. and four. So, coming from me in this year's Texas Bowl... I am going to go with Lane Kiffin, Jackson Dark, and the Old Miss Rebels to get it done here and defeat the Texas Tech Red Raiders in a close shootout. And our next matchup, it is this year's Pinstripe Bowl being played at Yankee Stadium, home of the hated New York Yankees, between the Syracuse Orangemen facing the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Now, this is the sixth meeting between Syracuse and Minnesota. Minnesota leads the old-time series 3-2. to two. Now, the Orangemen last defeated the Golden Gophers all the way back in the 2013 Texas Bowl. And the Golden Gophers are looking to finally defeat the Orangemen for the first time since 2012. Now, Syracuse is coming in at 7-5. and five, and Minnesota's coming in at 8-4. and four. So coming from me in this year's Pinstripe Bowl being played at the Yankee Stadium in, in the Bronx, I am going to go with P.J. Fleck, Danner, Tanner Morgan, and the Minnesota Golden Gophers to get it done here and defeat the Orangemen of Syracuse. And now next matchup, and this is one of my favorite bowl names in the entire college football bowl season. It is this year's Cheez-It Bowl between my Oklahoma Sooners facing the Florida State Seminoles. Now this is the eighth meeting between Oklahoma and Florida State. Oklahoma leads the all-time series, folks, 6-1. to one. Now my Sooners have won the last six meetings over the Seminoles, dating all the way back to 2011. And the Seminoles' last victory over my Sooners, you have to go all the way back 
to the 1965 Gator Bowl. So the Seminoles have not beaten my Sooners in nearly 57 years. Now my Sooners are coming in at 6 and 6 and Florida State's coming in at 9 and 3. So coming from me in this year's Cheese It Bowl and let me know in the comment section what is your favorite flavor of Cheese It and this is one of my favorite matchups because it's good old JR's Oklahoma Sooners versus Kevin Kelly's Florida State Seminoles and those two are one of my favorite announcers in professional wrestling. So this one's going to be good. But coming from me Dylan Gabriel versus Jordan Travis. This one's going to be a good one in this year's Cheese It Bowl. But I am going to go with Dylan Gabriel, Brett Venables, and my Oklahoma Sooners to get it done here and defeat the Florida State Seminoles. Boomer Sooner. And our next matchup. It is this year's Alamo Bowl between the Texas Longhorns facing the Washington Huskies. Now, this is the fifth meeting between Texas and Washington. Texas leads the all-time series 3-1. to one. Now, the Longhorns won the last meeting over the Huskies all the way back in the 2001 Holiday Bowl. And the Huskies are looking to finally defeat the, the Longhorns for the first time since the 1979 Sun Bowl 43 years ago. Now, Texas is coming in at 8-4, and four, and Washington's coming in at 10-2. and two. So, coming from me in this year's Alamo Bowl... This one's going to be a good one. You got Quinn Ellers, B. John Robinson for Texas versus Michael Penix Jr. for Washington. This one's going to be a fantastic Alamo Bowl this year. But coming from me, I am going to go with Michael Penix Jr. and the Washington Huskies to get it done here and defeat the Texas Longhorns in a shootout. And our next matchup, it is this year's Duke's Mayo Bowl between the Maryland Terrapins facing the North Carolina State Wolfpack. Now, this is the 71st meeting between Maryland and NC State. The series is tied, folks, 33, 33, and 4. Now, the Terrapins won the last meeting over the, the Wolfpack all the way back in 2013, and the Wolfpack are looking to defeat the Terps for the first time since 2012. Now, Maryland's coming in at 7 and 5, and NC State's coming in at 8 and 4. So, coming from me in this year's Duke's Mayo Bowl. I am going to go with the North Carolina State Wolfpack to get it done here and defeat the Maryland Terrapins in a close one. And now next matchup. It is this year's Sun Bowl between the Pittsburgh Panthers facing the UCLA Bruins. Now this is the 15th meeting between Pittsburgh and UCLA. UCLA leads the all-time series 9-5. Now, UCLA won the last meeting over the Panthers all the way back in 1972, over 50 long years ago. And the Panthers are looking to defeat the Bruins for the first time since the year after, 1972-1971, 51 long years ago. Now, Pittsburgh is coming in at 8-4, and, and UCLA is coming in at 9-3. and three. So, coming from me in this year's Sun Bowl... This one's going to be good. You got Kendall Slovis for Pittsburgh versus Dorian Thompson Robinson for UCLA. This one's going to be a great Sun Bowl this year. But coming from me, I'm going to go with Chip Kelly, DTR, and the UCLA Bruins to get it done here and defeat the Pittsburgh Panthers in a close offensive shootout. And our next matchup, it is this year's Gator Bowl between the Notre Dame Fighting Irish facing the South Carolina Gamecocks. Now, this is the fifth meeting between Notre Dame and South Carolina. Notre Dame leads the all-time series 3-1. to one. Now, the Gamecocks won the last meeting over the Irish all the way back in 1984, 38 years ago. And the Irish are looking to defeat the Gamecocks for the first time since 1983, 39 years ago. Now, both teams are coming in at 8-4. and four, And both teams are looking to cap off the year with a big bowl victory here. So, coming from me in this year's Gator Bowl... I am going to go with my good friend Walter Mackey and his Notre Dame Fighting Irish to get it done here and defeat the South Carolina Gamecocks. And our next matchup, it is this year's Arizona Bowl between the Wyoming Cowboys facing the Ohio Bobcats. Now, this is only the third meeting between Wyoming and Ohio. The Cowboys have won the last two meetings over the Bob Bobcats, dating all the way back to 2007. So, the Cowboys have owned this rivalry for 15 years. Now, Wyoming's coming in at 7-5. Ohio's coming in at 9-4 and, and still winless in the MAC Championship game. 0-5. So coming from me in this year's Arizona Bowl, I am going to go with the Ohio Bobcats to get it done here and defeat the Wyoming Cowboys. And our next matchup, it is the 89th Orange Bowl game, a New Year's Six Bowl game between the 2022 ACC champions, the Clemson Tigers, facing the Tennessee Volunteers. Now this is the 20th meeting between Clemson and Tennessee. Tennessee leads the all-time series 11-6-2. 
Now the Tigers won the last meeting over the uh, Volunteers all the way back in the 2004 Peach Bowl. And the Volunteers are looking to finally defeat the Tigers for the first time, folks, since 1976, 46 years ago. Now Clemson is just coming off winning another ACC championship. And they're coming in at 11-2. But we do know that their quarterback, DJ Nuglue, will be transferring next season. So, uh, so this will be his last game playing for the Clemson Tigers. And Tennessee is coming in at 10-2, but they will not have Hendon Hooker, who is out for the year. Year. So coming from me in this year in the 89th Orange Bowl game this year, if Hendon Hooker was playing for Tennessee, I would have Tennessee winning this game. But coming from me, I'm going to go with Dabo, Shipley, DJ Nugleway, and the Clemson Tigers to get it done here and defeat the Tennessee Volunteers in a close offensive shootout. And now the next matchup, which will happen on New Year's Eve, starting off with the 89th Sugar Bowl game between the Alabama Crimson Tide facing the 2022 Big 12 champions, the Kansas State Wildcats. Now, both teams are coming off fantastic years. Alabama's coming in at 10-2, and and Kansas State's coming off upsetting TCU in overtime to win a Big 12 championship, coming in at 10-3. and So coming from me in this year's 89th Sugar Bowl game, Ooh, you talk about a fantastic showdown. I mean, you got Bryce Young versus hopefully Adrian Martinez if he can come back. And it's Nick Saban versus a very good Kansas State team that pulled off a huge upset in the Big 12 championship game. But coming from me, I am going to go with Bryce Young, Nick Saban, and the Alabama Crimson Tide to get it done here and defeat the Kansas State Wildcats in a close offensive shootout. Roll Tide! And now the next matchup on Chris on New Year's Eve. It is this year's Music City Bowl between the Kentucky Wildcats facing the Iowa Hawkeyes. Now this is only the second meeting between Kentucky and Iowa. The Wildcats won the last meeting over the Hawkeyes all the way back on January 1st of this year in the Citrus Bowl. So this is the much anticipated rematch. Now both teams are coming in at 7-5 and five, and both teams are looking to finish the year off with a big victory here. So coming from me in this year's Music City Bowl on New Year's Eve... This one should be good. You got Will Levitz for Kentucky versus Spencer Petros for Iowa. This one's going to be a good one, but coming from me, I'm going to go with Will Levitz, Mark Stoops, and the Kentucky Wildcats to get it done here and defeat the Iowa Hawkeyes. And now the next matchup on Christmas on New Year's Eve. It is the 52nd Fiesta Bowl game. It is a college football playoff semifinal where the winner goes on to the college football playoff national championship game on January the 9th. Between the TCU Horn Frogs facing the back-to-back -back Big Ten champions, the undefeated Michigan Wolverines. Now TCU is coming off one hell of an amazing season. They finished at 12-1. and They could have been undefeated if they just trusted their defense in the Big 12 championship game and kicked the field goal in overtime time instead of going for it on fourth down but Max Duggan one of the Heisman finalists and the TCU Horn Frogs are looking to pull off a huge upset and puts their ticket to the college football playoff national championship. Their side you have the undefeated and back-to-back -back Big Ten champions the Michigan Wolverines coming off another banner year after defeating Ohio State for the second year in a row beating them in Columbus and then beating Purdue in the Big Ten championship game. Jim Harbaugh and J.J. McCarty and the Wolverines are looking to make another trip back to the college football playoff national championship and fin and get the and try to finish the year undefeated. So coming from me in the 52nd Fiesta Bowl game and a trip to the college football playoff national championship on the line, this one's going to be good. You got Max Duggan for TCU versus J.J. McCartney for Michigan. This one's going to be a fantastic college football playoff semifinal. But there can only be one winner in this. But I am going to go with Jim Harbaugh, J.J. McCartney, and the back-to-back -back Big Ten champions, the undefeated Michigan Wolverines, to get it done here and defeat the TCU Horned Frogs in an absolute banger. And now the next matchup on New Year's Eve. It is the 55th Peach Bowl game. It is the second college football playoff semifinal showdown between the Ohio State Buckeyes facing the 2022 SEC champions and the reigning and defending national champions, the undefeated Georgia Bulldogs. Now, this is only the second meeting between Ohio State and Georgia. The Bulldogs won the last meeting over the Buckeyes 
all the way back in the 1993 Citrus Bowl. So the Bulldogs have owned this rivalry for 29 years. Now starting off with Ohio State, they are coming in at a very impressive 11-1. Even though they did not win the Big Ten Championship, thanks to USC's loss to Utah, Ohio State sneaked their way into the college football playoff, and they are just a victory away from making it to the college football playoff national championship. And C.J. Stroud, uh, Ryan Day, and the Buckeyes are looking to pull off a major upset against the reigning national champions, but it's not going to be easy. Their side, you have the reigning national champions, the undefeated Georgia Bulldogs coming off a banner year, start uh, coming in at 13-0. They won the SEC championship over LSU, their first SEC title since 2017. And Stetson Bennett and the Bulldogs are looking to make a repeat trip back to the college football playoff national championship and repeat. So coming from me in this year's 55th Peach Bowl and the team and who and the team who punched their ticket to this year's college football playoff national championship game, this one's gonna be tough. Now, do I think Ohio State has a chance to win this game? Absolutely. Ohio State is a very good team. But coming from me, I am going to go with the SEC champions and the reigning, the national champions, Stetson Bennett, and the undefeated Georgia Bulldogs to make another trip back to the college football playoff national championship and defeat the Ohio State Buckeyes. Go dogs! Sick them! And now the next matchup. It is this year's Reliquest Bowl between the Mississippi State Bulldogs facing the Illinois Fighting Illini. Now this is only the third meeting between Mississippi State and Illinois. The series is tied 1-1. One to one. Now the Bulldogs won the last meeting over the Fighting Illini all the way back in 1980, over 42 years ago. And the Illini are looking to defeat the Bulldogs for the first time, folks. Since 1923, 99 years ago. Now, both teams are coming in at 8-4, and four, and both teams are looking to cap off the year with a big bowl victory here. So, coming from me in this year's Reliquest Bowl, this one's going to be good. Will Rogers versus Tommy DeVito, a.k.a. Tommy D, baby, and Chase Brown. This one's going to be a good one, but coming from me... I'm going to go with my good friend, the Gamers Goon, and his fighting line out of Illinois, Chase Brandon, Tommy DeVito, to get it done here and defeat the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Fight, Illini, fight. And now the next matchup. It is the 87th Cotton Bowl Classic between the 2022 American Athletic Conference champions, the Tulane Green Wave, facing the USC Trojans. Now this is the fourth meeting between Tulane and USC. USC leads the all-time series 2-1. to one. Now, the Trojans won the last meeting over the Green Wave all the way back in 1946, 76 long years ago. And the Green Wave's last victory over the Trojans happened over... Uh, uh, happened in 1942, nearly 80 years ago. Now, both teams are coming off fantastic regular seasons. Both teams are coming in at 11-2, and two, and both teams are looking to uh, finish this year up with a big victory. So, coming from me in the 87th Cotton Bowl Classic this year... This one should be good, but coming from me, I'm going to go with the man that is going to win this year's Heisman Trophy, Caleb Williams, Lincoln Riley, and the USC Trojans to get it done here and defeat the Green Wave of Tulane. Victor Reed. And now the next matchup. It is the 109th Rose Bowl game between the Penn State and Indy Lions facing the back-to-back Pac-12 champions, the lucky Utah Utes. Now, Penn State's coming in at 10-2, and and Utah's coming off winning their second consecutive Pac-12 championship, defeating USC and Las Vegas, coming in at 10-3. And, and I will have to say, Utah got lucky. They were lucky to even get to the Pac-12 championship game because they needed help from Oregon State and Washington, uh, Oregon State and Washington just to get there. But they are lucky they won the Pac-12 title game this year. So coming from me in the 109th Rose Bowl game, this one's going to be good. Sean Clifford versus Cam Rising. And it's crazy to think Penn State's last Rose Bowl victory was all the way back in 1995. So coming from me, I am going to go with Sean Clifford and the Penn State Nittany Lions to win their this Rose Bowl game for the first time since 1995 and defeat the Utah Utes. We are Penn State. And now the next matchup. It is the 77th Citrus Bowl between the Purdue Boilermakers facing the LSU Tigers. Now, both teams are coming off their heartbreaking losses on their championship games. Purdue losing to Michigan in the Big Ten championship game and LSU losing to Georgia in the SEC championship game. But Purdue's coming in at 8-5 and five, and LSU's coming in at 9-4. and four. So coming from me in the, seventh, the 77th Citrus Bowl game this year... I am going to go with Brian Kelly, Jalen Daniels, and the LSU Tigers to get it done here and defeat the Purdue Boilermakers in a close offensive shootout. Show Tigers! 
And now the final bowl matchup in this year's bowl season. It is the 2023 College Football Playoff National Championship game being played at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California on January the 9th. Between my Fiesta Bowl winner, the undefeated back-to-back -back Big Ten champions, the Michigan Wolverines, facing my potential Peach Bowl winner and the reigning and defending national champions, the undefeated Georgia Bulldogs. Now, for me, this has to be the finals for the college football playoff national championship. Two of the best teams in college football playing each other, both teams undefeated, looking to cap off an amazing year. So, coming from me in the 2023 college football playoff national championship game in SoFi Stadium... This one's going to be good. Hopefully it's going to be Michigan and J.J. McCarty versus hopefully Georgia and Stetson Bennett. This one's going to be a good one, but coming from me, I am going to go hopefully with Stetson Bennett and the undefeated Georgia Bulldogs to repeat as the college football playoff national champions and defeat the Michigan Wolverines in an absolute banger. And those are my 2022-2023 college football bowl predictions. Now, I do want to thank you guys so very much for watching this video today. Comment below. Who do you see winning this year's college football playoff national championship game? I have Georgia defeating uh, Michigan to repeat, but let me know who you guys got in those two semifinal showdowns. In the Fiesta Bowl, who do you have between TCU and Michigan? And in the Peach Bowl, who do you have between Ohio State and Georgia? And let me know all of your picks during this whole college football bowl season. And as always, represent your college football teams in the comments section. Even if they didn't have a didn't have a great year and didn't make a bowl, bowl appearance this year, still represent them. Let's have a conversation about it. Of course, I'm always on to see your comment, like it, and of course, reply right back to me because comments and your opinions are absolutely always welcome on this channel. Now, I do want to thank you guys so very much for watching all of my college football predictions on the channel this year. This was such a huge success thanks to you guys, and you guys already know we'll be running this shit back next September. So again, thank you guys for all the support on my college football predictions, as well as my college football bowl predictions. Now, before you guys go, as always, you guys can never forget to do this. That like button, comment, share with your friends, of course, super kick that like button like only you guys can. Of course, you guys can never forget to do this as well. That subscribe button become part of this bigger and dangerous. Dangerous Alliance, we are getting dangerously close to 1,100 subscribers on the channel, guys. So if you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet, what are you guys waiting for? If you're a fan of professional wrestling when it comes to New Japan Pro Wrestling, All Elite Wrestling, the WWE and Ring of Honor, and you're a fan of professional sports when it comes to the NBA, the NHL, Major League Baseball, the NFL, College Football, and coming in 2023, the XFL, super kick that subscribe button, folks. It's free, and you become part of this bigger, dangerous alliance. And I will see you guys later tonight for my official Week 15 NFL predictions. Later days, guys. Stay dangerous and peace.